Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your forecast. All right, time is fluid, but whenever you come upon this forecast, it is set intentionally for the next 30 to 45 days. Okay, take that as it resonates for you. If you are new, I am an intuitive welcome. If you are returning, don't forget to double check that subscription. You may even want to unsubscribe and resubscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, YouTube has just done another like big dump. And although it didn't dump too many for me because I'm a smaller channel, it has dumped quite a bit from some of the bigger channels. So make sure all the channels that you enjoy that you just make sure you're still subscribed to them. Okay. As always, at the beginning of my readings, I am pulling out for the collective. You can always come and join in any reading for this beginning part and hear that collective message. Okay, um, if you would like to get a personal reading, that information is down below. For any of my sessions that I do, I do not do just tarot sessions, okay? So you can go check that out. You can find more information about me at mindsetunicorn.me. So, for the collective, okay? I feel like you're leaving challenges behind and you're moving on to this new journey kind of like into the eye of the storm is what they're saying to me here, right? Into the eye of the storm. You're like, spirit has my back and I'm just whoosh, gonna move forward, right? And it's actually really beautiful because you're bringing this very playful, very passionate, very light infused energy moving on this path forward. And um, it just feels like it's going to bring such joy into whatever it is that you're creating. Okay. So let's see what is going on. Again, I'm doing 30 to 45 days. I'm going to give three different sectors here. You can split it up any way that it serves you well. Okay. Again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe because that is how I will determine the uh, signs that will get the soul path reading first. Okay, next week I will be doing the love, general love reading, and then I will move into the soul path. Okay, so underlying this forecast is the four, the return, okay, owning your mastery. Uh, for some of you, that's calling in your emperor's energy, but it's this energy of light, okay? Bringing the light back into your life, all right? So this first sector here, me time, right? You are just having to relax and let the universe be the one that it's what you're doing like you have zero control you're tapping into something very energetic there's one other piece over here though just relax right it's like two they're showing me like two galaxies about to collide right and you need to rest in order to bring this forward because when it comes in it's a completion and you need to be attuned to this frequency, okay, right? Tuning in and turning on, I feel like, to the sounds and the frequencies, the vibrations of your life. The third sector here, breadcrumb, breadcrumbs of bliss and well of time. Something's coming in that was definitely written very specifically into your Akashic records. And it's gonna change a lot of things for you, but it's gonna come in a tiny bit at a time. Don't let that frustrate you when it doesn't just all show up at once. Because when it starts to show up, you're gonna be like, oh, that kind of feels like something I, I recognize, right? Don't overwhelm yourself with making this like it has to be here now sort of an energy, okay? Me time. 
yeah, childhood lessons, okay, old obstacles, time to finish learning this lesson, all right, of how to just be. This is a lot, Spirit, right? Like, I feel like for most of your life, you felt like you had that target on your back where, right, damned if I do, damned if I don't, they say. But the key to your heart, okay, the key to opening up your heart to creation of love and romance in whatever aspect of your life it's calling for, requires you to learn to just be in that truth of divine timing. That truth of everything has its time and you have to learn to be in flow. Okay, I feel like Virgo got a similar message. All right. Maybe it was cancer. All right, anyway, lessons. Yeah, okay, releasing the old, right? This is old programming. So that you can open yourself up, the lovers, to what is on the other side of all of this that is just heart opening. Okay, this target. Knight of Swords. Again, you feel like you're always being watched. Like, you're like, everyone's always judging me. The only person really judging you is you. Okay. Romance, the key to your heart, right? It's ending the season so that you can have a whole new season with your heart invested in it. Divine timing. Yeah, the seer. I feel like you're very intuitive. You probably try to scry all the time into your future. And spirits like, can you learn to quit trying to force a substance into everything, right? Quit trying to see so far ahead. Attuning to the call, right? It's taking in the frequency and the feeling, eyes closed. You don't have to see it. You can feel it. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Spirit says that you will know when to make a decision based on your fire, right? your fire. It will tell you when to cut ties, when to create. You do not need to know what is ahead because in the moment you will know, right? Yeah. Have faith. <laughs> the fool and this two of wands, have faith that what's the problem here is the questioning that keeps you stuck. Have faith that when you just follow that fire within you, all just flows. Okay? Burning. Yeah, all right. Page of Wands. You'll know when to take that extra step. You'll know when to, you know, sit and wait faith. Yeah. It's about the balance, letting yourself be kind of instructed, I feel like, by the universe, right? To understand that eyes closed and feeling, you just have to have faith that things are not going to pass you by. Okay, the crossroads here. Six of Wands in reverse. You're afraid, right? That you're going to take the wrong path and miss out on some sort of abundance. But the center of the path is you. 
the center of the path is always you, your fire. Okay, this new beginning, breadcrumbs of bliss. Thank you. Okay, queen of pentacles, right? When you follow your heart, that's when everything that feels like home starts to show up. Okay, well of a time. You've been overthinking whatever this is that is really on your mind about love, whether it's about your path forward or just changing your own life to follow what you love. But if you know that it's meant for you, then there's no worries, right? All is already yours. I want one more yet. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. The gift has been really crushing this poison of always being on the outside. That's why you seek. You've always been in some way, shape, or form. You've always felt like a third wheel, third party. Okay, friendships, business. But you need to see that you are truly the gift, right? That's going to offer something that's growing within you. You are home. Okay. Tell me more about home. Yeah, again, it's the three of arrows, jealousy. You have a bit of an envious heart here, okay? For what others have that you do not. And it's using your fire in a way that's not serving you. The gift is that everything's already waiting for you ahead. All the fulfillment, three of wands, okay? It's just following that energy, following that feeling, following this path to this very balanced energy, okay? King of Swords, the Shaman. You have manifested this. It has already gone out to the universe that you're ready. Okay, the one, again, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, watch pot never boils. You just have to know that it is and lean into the feeling. Six of Pentacles, exploration. Okay, take this time to be productive. Okay, these two are holding their cups. I feel like, right, they're trying different types of honey. They're seeing what attracts the bees, what attracts the pollinators, right? No worry about the fire because the fire's there. Do not get frustrated, okay? Where you are going, right, that's my symbolism for home. Where you are going is exactly where you are meant to be. All right, tell me more here for Sagittarius. Okay, Ace of Wands, right? Rising from like the Phoenix, but again, eyes closed, right? You're really being guided here to stop trying to see the future, right? Stop trying to divine every single moment of your life. You don't have to make meaning for everything, right? But you also don't have to be so wounded that you hide away 
Nine of Wands here with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Don't hide yourself either. Be engaged in your life. And there we have the Queen of Pentacles a third time. Okay, be engaged in your life and things will unfold. Knight of Cups. There is a big wave of emotions coming for you. But it happens when you are engaged in your life. It happens when you are open to the possibilities, right? Nine of Cups fulfilling all of these different spaces in your life. I love this. So I'm going to do this, right? It's like, it's like, I love coloring. I'm going to color today. Okay. I love singing. I'm going to sing to this song. I love gardening. I'm going to make a little flower garden. Okay. Ten of swords, page of cups, eight of cups in reverse, right? Again, it's allowing part of why you feel like you have to see everything is if I am 12 steps ahead, I will not get hurt. Spirit says, if you stop worrying about getting hurt and just be engaged, we're going to deliver, right? And it's going to come in very different than it has in the past. But it takes faith. Okay. So let's see a little more about this lesson that you are learning. Okay. Resist. You are imposing an energy. Right. You're opposing, no, it's opposing, not imposing, but some of you may be imposing that energy. You're opposing an energy by creating the illusion of separation. You are not separated from your path. I'm pushing away or running from energies that I feel within this. Okay, feel. Some of you are struggling with the feeling of it, trying to, bottom of the deck is control, trying to control. Okay, tell me more about these emotions. You're impatient, right? You want to see. You don't want to wait. It irritates you to not see what's going to happen. You don't like that. You probably, they're showing me, you were probably that kid that did not want to wait until next week for the next episode to come out. Right? Like, that's too long. Or wait until next year for the next season. No. Okay? Impatient. And there's this deep craving inside of you. Especially for this very intimate connection. You have this great desire for this. And there's all these sprinklings of love here. Right? We've got Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. But it's got to come with that sense of faith that it's already yours. You're still holding on to shame, guilt, regret. Okay? We cannot transmute shame on our own. You need to pull that up from your belly and turn it over to Pachamama, Mother Earth, okay, Father Cosmos. Let it go and let it be transmuted for you because you're bringing it into your passions and then your passions are becoming regrets because of the impatience.
The universe says, when I call to you, that's when you answer. Okay? You listen for the call. Don't try to scry it. Right? You're afraid things won't work out. You're afraid that if you don't know every step of the way, that it messes everything up, right? And you are resistant to getting into bed and just resting, right? Sometimes I want to crawl into bed and just stay there, right? And there's a feeling here where some of you may cling to relationships that are not meant for you. Even in terms of jobs, because you're wanting to feel that, that alignment, that call, right, that's coming in here. And fearful it's never going to show up. Right? You feel like you didn't follow through on your promises. And that's very untrue. Okay? Someone or something here still takes your breath away. You haven't been able to release that. Okay, it's on your mind a lot because it was a lot of very good times for you. My family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realized, right? There's still work to be done. Where are you on the journey here, okay? The answer is no, okay? Whatever your question is, the answer is no. Feel like this is, again, right? Spirit's like, you're trying to design something. <laughs> and the answer is just no. You're being impatient. You're like a small child. They're like, and we're just going to keep telling you no. Some of you already have a fifth dimensional marriage, okay? And there's a very energetic, communicative partnership there. But you want it here in this life. And you're really struggling because karmic partners are just not doing it for you. Okay, soulmates, lessons that you already brought forward. But Spirit says, when you least expect it, when you go with this energy that we're showing you, we will bring you to a hidden path for a very fresh start. You're in separation of your emotional self and this is the lesson we are teaching you right you're going to sit here and reflect until you warm up to this and then the creativity will flow all right so let's go ahead and close it off with a couple of messages from the universe don't forget to like share comment and subscribe okay and there we have that King of Cups. Okay. You are being guided to exactly what is needed. You just have to believe it, right? That your broken heart that you have mended, there is still a deep cord around you that really 
It's like the cord of death is what it shows up to me as. You could have lost a parent. You could have, right, uh, could have been in a very dark relationship where fear was used. And you're struggling to fully release your heart from that. Okay, but I feel like there is a manifestation, again, someone above this fifth dimension, dimensional, like, spiritual connection is manifesting this beautiful new path for you. Okay. Follow it. It may seem pretty crazy, but kind of follow what you're being guided to. <laughs> Very strange message here, but I feel like when you follow this guidance, you will be energetically connected to this fifth dimensional love in a way that is indescribable. And this is going to embody in a soulmate connection. All right, All right, and it's gonna come rushing in. So have faith, right? That's really what you're being guided here to, is just to learn to have faith, all right? So I hope this helps you. I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Uh, I will be doing the love readings again next week and then onto the soul path, all right? And there will be a sprinkling of other videos that I'm sending out, but much love and light. All right, and I will see you then. Bye.